Last week, the pigs told us we couldn't march with amplifying sound. So today, we decided to march with every other type of sound you could possibly think of. <laughs> Um, it is a pro-Palestine march. We are 120 days into the ongoing genocide of the Palestinian people by Israel. At this point, over 27,000 Palestinians have been killed, over 11,000 children. But the NYPD seems to be responding to the protests against this genocide by further criminalization and arrests and suppression. Earlier in the march, several leaders and activists were arrested simply because they went onto the road, which marches have done countless times in New York City. Throughout the week, people have been arrested for using amplified sound at such marches, also for marching on the road. It seems that every single day, the NYPD is inventing new rules to suppress the pro-Palestine movement here in the belly of the beast in the United States. At the same time, the United States is, uh, is bombing three countries in the Middle East in a massive escalation of conflict, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. These protesters behind me are against the genocide, against imperialism, and are being punished for it by their own police department through criminalization. As soon as the march descended on the street, the police made some arrests. They've uh, they, uh, announced that anyone who was on the street marching would be subject to arrest. They arrested some of the organizers. They made a few multiple arrests. And uh, the march was moved onto the sidewalk. The march is going to continue. Whether or not they allow us to take the streets, we are very clear about this. Um, but the police have been changing their rules from week to week. They are, uh, they are applying their policies in a discriminate manner. This is a political repression of our movement, uh, and, uh, but we're going to keep marching. We're not afraid to be arrested. Come and take us, because we have a responsibility in this country. And that is nothing, that is nothing compared to our duty to the Palestinian people. I think it's very, very important that people in this country understand that it is not sympathy that we feel, it is a responsibility. This is not something happening halfway across the world that we think is pretty unfortunate to look at. This is not some foreign conflict. This is manufactured right here. It is our responsibility, Woo! our duty, and we are accepting that and embracing whatever that means to stand with Palestine Woo! and to change the equation and to make our government reconsider the idea that genocide, that apartheid, that occupation Woo! with our tax dollars is acceptable Woo! any longer. Thanks to violence, obstinance, and war crimes and sheer stupidity, we now spend every day of the week organizing against him and all the war criminals. And this movement, Despite the lies and the slander by Nancy Pelosi, despite the lies of Marco Rubio, despite the lies of all these actually corrupt criminals who get millions of dollars of money from Israel and other countries, we are proud to say today, tomorrow, any day, our dignity has no price! Our responsibility to protest has no price! And that this movement, whether they like it or not, is led by volunteers, by people who give up their lives every day to struggle with us. Today! Today, Today we, saw, we, we saw what we've always known. What we've always known is that the police is that the police only care about one thing. Only care about one thing. They protect money and property. They protect money and property. They do not protect.
protect the people. They do not protect the people. But we are determined. But we are determined. And we will bring our message to the streets. And we will bring our message to the streets. Because we care about life. Because we care about life. And we care about safety. And we care about safety. And we care about dignity. And we care about dignity. And we care about freedom. And we care about freedom. Democracy. It will free us all! It 